All right, we're gonna replace this old axle shaft transmission with this new one. They're identical in, in appearance, but if we turn it over, you will now see that on the old one, I can move the clutch and gauge all the way up to the post at the top. And this one, with all my strength, I can only move it an inch or half an inch. So that's good. And we are, let's see if we're turning. Now we're turning. There we go. Okay, so it's ready to go. Over here, before we put this transmission in, we are going to replace the bushings, the dust bushings. And one is 44327-VG3B00 and 42944VE801. And that's that bushing. This one is this one. And this one is this one. And I'm just going to put a little bit of grease on the inside and then insert these. So you can watch if you like. Get, get close we'll do it okay now I'm going to press the, I'm going to use the device to press this one in it was just a little scary banging that other one with a hammer there we go so you can see how much easier that goes sorry got the wiggly in there just for the shaft and all the other do hummers and this is the new dust cap and this is the new dust cap and I just pressed it in with my fingers beautiful now this is going to be ready for when the axle goes in you come back with me to the floor all right guys this is all very hard to film I just put the Z bend on that gear shift. You see that right there? And that cable is still loose. I'm using one other hand. So you, and the gear shift can come out actually far enough for you to get that Z bend in. Just put it in first gear or third gear or whatever it is. Right now it's under the pulley, right? So now I'm going, I'll show you that. One second. Don't go away. Okay, there is now the gear outside the transmission. I am going to put you down, or maybe we can thread that on there with you looking, let's just see. It's one hand guys, remember? Except it's got to go around to that side, so that we are clamping on the right side of the transmission, right? There we go. Okay. There. Now we just have to get the screw in there. That's all. So I will turn you off and the screw is going to go down through the pulley and right into there if you can see in there. Right, you can see the cable. Um, there. You can see the cable going underneath and then the screw goes in there right like that. So I have to use two hands guys, I'm sorry. Alright, now for the clutch. I just hooked it onto there, onto this one and then onto there like that. And that should do it. Now I just have to rotate this transmission in. Uh, there. Ooh, my battery's dying. Okay, the transmission goes into there. And then it clips into there like that. And then we put that outside wheel retainer on. And we're done. We hope. So, this is simple. It just goes on the axle like this. For those of you who need to know, when I did grease this, like that, right like that, and, and uh, I'll just redo it because I have to put the, uh, the ring on. So, I'll show you that when I'm done. All right, 
Okay guys, transmission install. This is really quite pretty basic. You just have to remember to put these rings on before you put this second hub on. And then you can slide the transmission back and forth. That's how you, it goes in and back. I can even show you that. So in like that and out like that. Right? It's out. Transmission's in. That easy. And then we take our second wheel assembly. Make sure it's all clipped in because you need all the space you can get with the clips. And that goes in like that. Like that. And then we put this ring on. Like that. And then we put the split ring on. I hope you guys, I hope you can see this. Because I don't have the neck to turn around and check the camera every 30 seconds. I know you guys complain about stuff, but... Okay, so... Here's the ring, the split ring. I don't want to put too much in. That should do it. And then we just push it on with a punch. Or anything we can. Click. Did you hear that gorgeous click? That's uh, music. I'm just tapping it on all the way around. It's on. Okay, guys. So I'm going to take a break now because the transmission is back in. Cables hooked up. The only big thing now is to get this spring around this rod. And I got a trick for that. So stay tuned. Okay, guys. One more little bit, and I'm sorry I call you guys. I'm talking to a little black box. Now, you see this do hummer right here? It's a homemade spring putter on her. That's the technical def def definition if you look that up in a, in a uh, NASA manual. And what this does is it hooks onto this spring that, that it, this spring just comes off actually. And we're going to hook onto this spring like that. We're going to pull it down and we're going to put it over top of that, of that uh, hook right there. So this hooks in to that right there. See that? Let me just check. Okay, so this goes through the body, and then this hooks on to that. I think you're getting the idea, even if you can't figure it out by visual. Okay, we have that hook coming through the frame, and we hook that on there like that. And I'm pretty sure it goes on this direction. Now this is the a real one of the only last hard parts. And I mean by physical. And I've done this once before. So we gotta go on this side of the hook. Uh, that's just the way it is, right? Wonder if I can come on this side. Come on, come on, baby. One more try. That's good. 
Yeah, I think that is. Yeah, I'm just going to cut that wire off there and put a new one on. We'll do it before we put the tool away so it's ready for the next heave ho. There we go. Transmission in. Now it's just wheels and uh, yeah, I think that's it. Perfect amigo. Hope you guys got some of that. All right. Okay, now we're going to put the springs back in. We'll just dip that spring in a little bit of grease. That should be more than enough. So the spring goes in. The ratchet goes on. Like that. It's just like a ratchet and a ratchet. And then I have my stuff laid out in order on both sides so that we don't get confused on the direction of the ratchets. Because if you get the ratchets wrong, it'll drive backwards or it won't pull forwards or whatever, right? And then on this particular uh, gear, you can see one side has more wear than the other. So the tire goes on this side, where my thumb is, this, this thumb, not this thumb, this thumb here. So you, you push down on this little ratchet. I th have I got things in right? Yes, I do. Okay, so we've got the collar, the thrust washer, uh, one of the, uh, just a minute, I'll take this off, I'll put this on like that. What do they call that? That's number 25. I've got the list here. Collar pinion gear. The ratchet. Ooh, that just wants to come off with my thumb, eh? And then the pinion gear. And that you have to squish this spring down to do it. Right? And then you put another pinion or uh, Trust washer in there. What do they call that? Number 25? Collar. And then another. Oh, we got to get the. We got to get this wheel on. Before this, this guy right here. So we have to stick that on like that. Like that, and like that, and then the split ring. It didn't link, it didn't go into the groove. There it is down there. Let me get the, uh, I don't know what size that is, I think it's a 12. Are you guys still watching this? forward pulls back. I think that's got it. I don't know. If it goes backwards, we'll just swap those two gears around. So there we are. All right, we're starting to wrap this job up. We've got the wheels on now. And I just sharpened the bottom blade. The top one was fine. And uh, we'll just tighten that up with uh, this beautiful thing.
let's just verify that. we can put it on its wheels now. I got lots of adjustments to do on these cables because the new transmission engages at a much sooner position on the cable. But, by Jim, I think we've got it. Oh no, I gotta put the covers on. Okay, just quickly put the covers on and we're good. Well, it's all back together. Not hard to do. That's the uh, engine start stop. This is the uh, drive. And this cable right, I'm going underneath now, right there, was actually back to here, about where my finger is. It's moved forward an inch so that it doesn't pull as tight because the clutch doesn't pull as much, right? Just rem remember you saw it first here on Bruce Pender TV. So, the transmission's back in. The cables are hooked up. We got uh, what feels like about the right adjustment on the uh, on the engage cable right here. Uh, this one, sorry, this one. So I'm going to open up the big door. We're going to see if this bad boy goes forward when required. Choke. I don't have the air filter on yet, and they run better with an air filter, these ones. So let's just see what happens. Oh. So it coughed out a little bit of uh, blue smoke because I did have it sitting right on its nose for two days, right? Without oil in it, but a tiny bit of oil creeps through, right? Okay. Neighbor's dogs, they, they bark at a butterfly. success. <laughs> a little bit of smoke coming out of the uh, exhaust. Like I said, there was a lot of, probably about two tablespoons of oil drifted into the cylinder while it was upside down. So now, I think it's just time to let it sit and try it again in about an hour. Cool! All three speeds work, and this feels about right. This is the mechanism right here, this spring. It's loose there, and then it tightens up, and then the spring, once it gets to a certain point, right there, the spring expands. So I think that's pretty close. Yeehaw!